This is the Logitech K400 Plus for media. Uh, my wife and I were looking at using this to control our smart TV. So, small package. All right, let's take a look at the inside here. There's a sticker here for USB. Ah, I saw it. I, I skipped right over top of it. Apparently, this was on there the whole time. So, be careful, don't lose that because that's what's going to be able to help. All right, so there is, looks like a short warranty manual and some additional instructions talking about the on, the on switch that's on here and download at logitech.com slash options. All right, let's go ahead and crack open the keyboard here. Not bad. Very clean. It's very light. The touchpad is soft, smooth, gentle keys. You can hardly hear it. Not too bad. So it looks like it came with some AA batteries. Let's go ahead and open up the compartment anyways, just to double check. Yep. So there's already some batteries here with it. Excellent. And then there's the on switch that's over here. All right, let's see if we can go ahead and get this paired up to our device. All right, we're gonna come on back here behind the TV and plug in the USB-C here. It's in one of these directions here, hopefully. Great. You're gonna to need to, of course, turn on your smart TV. You may need to give it a moment as well to register that it's been plugged in and then, of course, turn on your keyboard. It's red, it means it's off. If it's green, it means it's on. Okay, so now I have the keyboard turned on. You can see that I'm able to move around the cursor without using the remote. Also, if I just start typing in the search box, I should be able to start working here. So there you go, that's simple to set up. Very, very easy. You'll also notice that if you press the volume controls up or down, this will literally work just like the remote does, but it's a bit more accessible. So as you can see, just a simple up or down. And if I wanted to mute it, I just hit the mute button and it would mute it. Pretty cool, nice features on here. Big thumbs up.